Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Wi-Fi Wednesday. My name is Kevin Z. I am founder and CEO of My Wi-Fi Networks, and we meet here on Facebook Live each and every week, where we talk about the latest and greatest in Wi-Fi marketing. So as you know, uh, last week we had a whole bunch of announcements. Uh, first of all, I just wanna recap for those who haven't been with us for a while. Uh, we have a whole bunch of new presentations in the members area. Um, you can visit that at members.mywifi.io. And on the left-hand side, you'll see uh, a download section. Through there, you'll be able to access all the new presentations. Uh, we'll very soon be going through each one of those and recording a video training on them. So you'll have the actual PowerPoint presentation itself in editable format. In addition, you'll have a video where I will uh, kind of train to it. And you can take that, show it to your sales team, use it yourself. And I think it'll be just a valuable asset for, uh, for selling. So go check that out in the members area. We also have a ton of new firmware. As you saw in the group, uh, we recently came out with an open WRT configuration, so or integration, or whatever you want to call it as far as uh, compatibility goes. Uh, now you can buy hardware anywhere you want. So um, you know, a lot of people were looking for different versions of hardware. I'll just pull up the compatible list right now. So this is in the Facebook group. It's also inside your dashboard. If you go to uh, add device and then you choose open WRT, you can now see a list of all of these models. So I think the most popular one by far is TP-Link, but just to mention those who use, let's say open mesh or ubiquity and don't want to use their cloud controller, you can also install our custom firmware uh, on their hardware. So you just talk directly to us and you don't have to have them run through their cloud controller. Uh, Linksys, which is owned by Cisco actually has a really good device on Amazon. That's the one that we, uh, we're compatible with. Uh, it's a very powerful device. It's great for, for you know, businesses that have 50 to 75 simultaneous users, for example, uh, and you can buy it on Amazon and install the firmware within a few minutes. So that's awesome. Uh, in addition to a lot of these other manufacturers that are mainly available in Asia and overseas, uh, but I would say TP-Link by far has the most amounts. And uh, if you click over here, also in our support section, this is all linked uh, there. Uh, we have a list of open WRT compatible devices. So for example, if you're uh, online or in a hardware or you know, electronic store and you're like, hey, I need some hardware, you can reference this on your cell phone, quickly pull it out and say, okay, TP-Link, do you support the Archer uh, you know, or the TLMR10U V1? Um, you have to be very specific to mention, uh, make sure that both uh, obviously the manufacturer, the model number, but also the version number needs to match up um, because every, there's a different firmware for every different version of the hardware. So as you see, our list is super long right now. Um, tons and tons and tons of devices that we uh, integrate with. And uh, for example, if you want to see the other hardware that we integrate with, you can pop over to devices and hardware over here. There's instructions on how to install and uh, set up all of the different hardware over here. I know the Cisco Meraki is very popular. We are soon coming out with a, you know, a five click Meraki integration instead of going through all the steps and pasting your whitelist and adding the radius servers, et cetera which really only still takes about five to 10 minutes. Uh, this will be similar to how CloudTracks works, where you paste your API key and secret key, it'll pull back your network, pull back which SSID you want to apply the settings to, and it will automatically apply the settings to Meraki. So those who use uh, Cisco Meraki, um, you'll be really happy about that. Uh, and over here, that's the OpenWRT section, but if you wanna see the list of supported hardware devices, like you know end-to-end, -end, what are all the hardware that we work with, um, there's obviously our device, the white labeled guest hotspot. You can buy it directly from over here. So you can click add to cart, go through the whole flow, check out. And uh, this usually ships within three to five business days in the US, about five to seven business days overseas. So here you go. You can uh, express checkout if you've already purchased from us before. Uh, then down here, we have all the cloud controllers we integrate with. So as you know, all the major hardware providers, we also have a custom script for Microtik. Microtik has a ton of different devices that you can work with, gateways, access points, tons of stuff. So you can use that in addition to flashing your own devices, which are the OpenWRT devices now, which add you know, over 100 new devices, and we have a lot more coming soon. So that is, uh, that's the new firmware that I really hope you check out. If you are obviously buying hardware from us, that's cool but you can now also buy hardware locally and install your own firmware on it. Uh, in addition, I know a lot of you guys uh, have seen this already, but we have our whole uh, sub-user access to the location dashboard has been translated through and through to Spanish. So we're gonna be adding some more languages to that soon. Uh, please vote, I'm gonna set up a voting uh, thing in the Facebook group real soon, and I want you to vote on the languages you want for the dashboard. So this is for your sub-users that log in, Anybody that is, let's say, you know, Spanish, um, we have. Um, so next 
what should we do? Let us know. Uh, I'm going to set up a voting thing for that. And this is particularly useful uh, for clients that have, uh, you know, for customers, I should say white labels that have clients that uh, want to see a dashboard in their own native language. So obviously, um, we're going to prioritize this based on the number of votes and uh, based on uh, who wants what. So check that out very shortly in the Facebook group. And as always, if you guys have any questions, you can contact support. Uh, we're right available in the chat bubble anytime. We also got a ton of great training uh, in article form. I know that a lot of people have been asking for Zapier training, some more automation training. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of that stuff shortly. I'm very soon going to be flipping over the format for Wi-Fi Wednesdays. Instead of going live just in the private Facebook group, I'm going to be going live on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. You'll be able to access this uh, through various channels. And these will be available in a nice, uh, easy to follow format. If you miss one, it'll be very specific to a topic, um, not just prize Wi-Fi Wednesday. We're going to actually talk about one topic every single week and I'll run through them with video. All right. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions for that, you can always vote at feedback.mywifi.io. Uh, that's where we have our uh, feedback section. Let me show you that right here. So here's where you get the update on what we are currently working on, what's in progress, and what we've finished. So in fact, we finished this one. So um, we're very close to uh, launching this spoof DNS. So those who, I mean, call it a spoof DNS, it's really just adding a layer between uh, your white label and the My Wi-Fi brand. So very shortly, you're gonna be having the ability to uh, map your domains to a, a domain name that's not trackable back to us. So it is really 100% through and through white label. Those who want to go investigate, they can go and you still won't find out who the provider is. I wanna also mention that we have also launched uh, white label radio servers. Those who are asking about it, just go to our support desk, search for that. You'll see that the new uh, radius onewifi cloud.io and radius 2wifi cloud.io are all set up. So you can use that now. Uh, we also have some more dynamic IPs. If you want to map your own domains, if you want to create your own radius1.yourbrand.com and radius2.yourbrand.com, you can do that if you're ever adding this into a cloud controller. It looks nice. I mean, it looks nice that it's actually looks like it's your radius server. So that's very cool. Again, if you want to find this, just search for white label radius servers in our support desk. Cool, but if you guys have any questions, um, obviously reach out to support. Um, we have a ton of other stuff, obviously, inside the uh, roadmap. We are working all the stuff right now. In addition, we are gonna be prioritizing everything else that has been voted for. Uh, also in the Academy, so this is the Zapier training, as you can see, uh, kind of leads the pack. So let me look at the top. So chatbot marketing, how to set up a Wi-Fi ad network, strategy for restaurants. So all of these have been prioritized and now we are gonna be running through each one of these one by one and this is what the topics will be moving forward each and every week. So if you have anything you wanted to talk about, please vote on it. And uh, obviously this list can be long, so I'll be also cherry picking some of the better topics I see even with a few votes, I might bring them to the top if I see that they are really good. So again, the link there is feedback.mywifi.io. Go check that out. And again, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you later. See you soon.